What's up guys, Rob here at Float World today and look, we are doing another build. What? That doesn't look like an XR. No. Not a GT. Yep, that's right. We've got a Pine X today. We are going to do a rebuild on new everything. Uh, this one has, I think, 303 miles on it. That's all it's got. And it is in great condition. Went ahead. And of course we have I checked out the bearings. Need to clean up that side. But we've got this side cleaned up. And the bearings sound really good. So we didn't mess with them. But you know we will throw in some, uh, some steel bearings. Just in case down the road you need some. They will be included with this board. Got red lifesavers on this one. They look nice. And we also have the Enduro, the mid compound. Yes. So went ahead and got that knocked out, got it inspected. Looks great. We have got, oh, some other things here. We got some rails, WTFs. Got some bumper kits. I'm not going to show you the colors or what. And then we got brand new foot pads. So we're going to slap this on. I guess we we'll, we will start with the yeah, with the rails first. And then we'll we'll start getting this board knocked out. So let me slap some rails on and then uh I'll get right back to you, all right? All right, guys. Well, I've got the rails on and I wanted to tell I, I had a customer ask me uh, do you have a problem with the wire harness on the Pine X? Saying he said that uh, his was uh, too short and he was having problems getting his screws in. Well, I kind of did the same problem. If you're like loosely trying to get them over there, it won't. You have to kind of just pull it a little bit. I laid mine down, kind of pushed it, held it finger tightened my screw in and then went back and did this side did that side we'll just give them a little a little tight not too much there we go beautiful and you can see here that the rails that that wire harness is really tight it's really get in there it's really up against that rail and I think that was the purpose of float life because they wanted you know they didn't put on those little clips there we go there's a better view right there they didn't put on those little clips that come on the bottom you know to keep your wire harness on like it does from factory from the stock rails so they made these rails just a little bit longer so it can just pull that wire and have very, look, I got very little slack in there, especially when it comes to up here. So, I think that's why they did that, just to keep, you know, it out of the, uh, the hub bolts and keep it away from the tire. So, I kind of like that. I had, you know, it wasn't a big problem, but just kind of slightly pull it, get your bolt lined up, get it screwed in. Once you do that, you can, or however you do it, but don't like fully tighten it down. Just get it just a little snug and then start doing the other ones and it will turn out just great. Look at that. That's already looking sick. We need to throw on this tire. That's going to look amazing. We've got some bolts around here. Yep. There we go. Should slide right into place with the wire. Mag handle on the pint goes on the right side. So we'll call that passenger side. Yeah, you should be able to... Oh, that's right. We got the lifesavers on there. Okay. So if you do have the lifesavers on there, you're going to have to do these one at a time. 
It is a little bit of a pain in the ass to do, but it can be done. Alright. Alright. Well, give me a minute. Let me get these slapped on there for you. And uh, I'll get right back to you, okay? This might take a minute. But what I'm probably going to end up doing is sliding this on in here first. Let's get out of the wire. Get out of the wire. Sliding this on and getting it past that W that uh, lifesaver. That's what they're called. Lift it up and I should be able to slide it just a little bit more. It does take a little finesse to do, but it, it will get in there. Oh, so it's caught on that corner. Come on, there you go. There you go. A little work. And we'll get it over there. Come on. There we go. There we go. Nope. Come on. Come on. So what is happening is it's getting caught on this bend here. There we go. See, it just takes a little bit of work, a little bit of patience. Take your time. Make sure that wire down here, yep, see it? Make sure that is where it needs to be. And then, once that is in there, you can slide in the other side, okay? Let me do that real quick, and then uh, we'll get back to you. All right, guys, well, whoo. Uh, got the rails on. You know, we we had a little problem with this side. The driver's side was actually confusing me. Now, because it's different on the XR, but on the pint, when you put these rails on, you see on this side, you're going to have this little lip right here. And you're like, oh man, that needs to tuck in to the rails. It does not. It needs to sit flush with the rails <laughs> just see that why well, poked in she saw I was doing a video she poked out I usually have a recording sign on there so say hi to the wife <laughs> no I'm not gonna edit it I'm gonna leave it in there that's all part of the of the game of what we do but yeah Anyways, so I've got that in there. Now what we want to do is put in our axle bolts. <sighs> Going to use stock. Hell no. Get rid of that shit. Titanium. That's much better. Much better. Look at these bad boys. Look at those. Gorgeous, stronger, that's what you want. So, we're going to tip the board on its side very gently. Line up our axle bolts. Let's see if we can line them up. There we go. Finger tight only. I'm telling you. I know I say it in, I'm pretty sure I've said it in every video. Finger tight your shit first. Okay. Okay. Finger tight. We're going to flip it gently over. We're going to line those up, another two 
titanium axle bolts beautiful gorgeous love them love them make sure see this is why if you just went in there and just started drilling you'd have a bad day but you do it and you line it up you take your time you will be successful I promise do 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 where do you go oh hello do 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 god it's like this one video uh sam my buddy made me watch the other day which if he's watching this video you still owe me 21 minutes of my life back but he made me watch this video of a guy who couldn't find any of his damn tools and he spent half the video i mean and didn't even edit it i get it you know this is but keep your shit organized i mean my shop is not the best organized but i mean my main stuff that i use yeah i keep it in a certain spot because i use it a lot the other stuff i kind of have piled up in the side but yeah it was just uh i thought it was a shit show so Have your tools ready. And I am not torquing these down. I am just tightening them, giving them a little pressure. Always double check after a hundred miles of a board. I would always say just go back, check your bolts, make sure to find because even with uh, Loctite, they're still going to rattle off. I've had it happen many times, but now we did everything right. All those bearings sound so good. Said only 300 miles on this bad boy, and that looks dope already. That looks sick, guys. Don't you think? Outstanding. Well, yeah, what do we didn't need to do now? I guess we need to hook up some stuff. Always be careful of when connecting your connectors that you're lining them upright. Because if they're not hooked up right, you're going to have a bad day. A little tug. That is secured and ready to go. We got some new foot pads here. New hardware. Awesome. Let's see. That's the rear. Here's the front. Brand new, look at that. No scratch on it. Beautiful. Okay, so, let just take this. I like to hook mine up first. That way, when I, you can do it from the top. I just always find it easier to do it from the bottom. That way you have a little bit more room. Come on. Do a little half turn. That is solid. Do a little tug. Make sure. Excellent. Excellent. That will go in there. You got a couple of screws to go in there. Some little itty bitty bitty ones, which they should send in your package, hopefully. 
never actually used that thing. I wonder if that thing works. I'm just going to undo it. I want to see if it just works. Kind of. Not really. Okay. Thanks for a lot, one wheel. Don't get me started. Alright. So we got some little screws we need to put back in. Now we're going there. Now we're going there. So I guess what we need to do now is put on some bumpers. Yeah, we got red. Yeah, we did. We went the red route. Tap 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 a roo. It is in there. This should go on here. Well, they got some short ones, some long ones. Long ones in the front. Shorties in the back. Well, let's do those long ones. Let's get the correct size bit. Do do do. Do 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 do. I don't want to tighten them all the way down. Because I want to make sure that all the other bolts line up. <laughs> See how I, I like to reverse mine. If you're using an impact or a drill, or whatever, put your screw in, reverse it. So what that's going to do is that's going to that the threads on that bolt is going to catch the threads on the uh, on the rail. You can hear it. Da, 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 da. And then you can just give it a little tightness. I'll put the front ones in. They look like some shorties too. Same thing. And then you can go back and do the others. Shit, this is looking pimp, guys. This is looking pimp. All right, so throw on the back bumpers. See how easy that is? I love new shit. That's why we do it. Oh. And yeah, make sure everything lines up here. We'll put a rear foot pad on. And there we are. Looks like it requires two little shorties. And that's what we're going to put in. I like this too. I mean, I don't like m making long videos because it loses people's interest because you're expecting your... Your... You're 
I don't know. You're just people don't like uh, long videos. Let's just say that. they skip over them more. So, but to be able to watch this and see your board actually being built and built correctly gives you the assurance that you feel comfortable buying from me and anybody else who has bought a one wheel for me that I have built for them let me know in the comments down below how your one wheel is going if you love it you hate it you, you wish you never bought it but uh, just let me know what you think about it so that is that's getting pretty close. Now you can run some uh, uh, different types of fenders on there if you want to. Uh, I like the flight fins. And flight fins is coming out with the new Falcon ones, I believe. Which mine has been on back order for a while. But that's okay. But look, we got the one wheel here. Whoops. Need some air in that. Need some air. We're going to stick in. Nice. Copper valve stem. None of that fucking silver nickel, nickel plated crap. Do do do. Do 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 do. This board is going to re be ready to rock and roll, folks. Ugh. All right, I'm going to fire up the compressor. It's going to get loud, so I'm just going to... We're going to pause the video here. And I'm going to fire up that compressor and air up the tire. Hopefully it works. Fingers crossed, huh? <laughs> All right, I'll, let me do this real quick and I'll be right back. All right, guys, well, look, we got it on there. Good air in there. New foot pads, new WTF rails. Don't worry, I'll get the board cleaned up. We need to do this side of the bearing, just clean it up a little bit. But she is looking wonderful. Now, the moment of truth. Does she work? I have faith. That it's going to turn on. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I fully trust in my build, so that's awesome. Let's see if it actually rides, though. Let's see. Look at that. Can y'all see that? That's dope. This is a clean board. Oh! And then bring it with me. Yeah. Top on up. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, what? Hear those bearings? Sounds good. Let's take it for a, a little ride outside. Oh. Yeah, it's daylight. Finally. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Who wants this? Beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. Fucking red makes it pop. Let's go for a little ride. Oh, yeah. Woo, woo. Slow down, Sally. Oh, those rails feel great on a pint. Oh, that's so much more better. Go around one more time. Whoop. Oh, yeah. That's actually quite nice. I wouldn't mind one of these. Beautiful. Oh. Get off there. Like I said, I'll clean it up. It'll look good. But there you have it, folks. 
this will be available for sale on our website at floatworlds.com remember we're going to also throw in a free set of steel bearings for you just in case down the road you never know this board only has 300 miles on it the bearings are i mean brand new they're they're new okay you got a while to go on those bearings uh red life savers new new foot pads new bumpers new enduro tire fuck yeah and it works it works really well so if you want this board to be yours all you have to do is go over to floatworldsyah.com let's get in here get into the shop oh yeah there's some I need to put that down for a second set y'all back up hey there you go. somewhere about in there yeah cool all right so there you have it one wheel pine x 303 miles on it new foot pads it, it's just new everything okay it it looks amazing other than the bearings but like i said i will clean all this up it will look fantastic you can go on the floatworlds.com and pick yours up to pick this up today and go have some fun this needs a good home i mean come on come on that looks amazing look at those hub bolts they just make all that pop I think so but all right guys that does it for today uh, it's New Year's Eve so everybody be safe tonight try not to go out and get too hammered drive responsibly ride responsibly and uh, just just be safe out there okay guys but yeah don't forget floatworlds.com go pick this up and as always, float the world, my friends.